Well, good morning, everybody. It is Monday, the 28th of October. It is very early in the morning. I'm talking like 5.30. The only reason I'm awake is because today is the final uh, day of my dog sitting uh, Sasha the Rottweiler, and uh, she needed to have her early morning feeding, so that is why I am up. And I figured since I'm awake and I'm probably not going to be getting back to sleep before work starts, uh, I'll sample some products uh, because... I have a, an endless flow of interesting products to sample and talk about on this channel. And today, uh, I wanted to talk about some interesting finds I made at the uh, the World Market yesterday. Um, so, they have a whole shelf at the World Market of um, different Lay's chips flavors that come from Southeast Asian countries. So, there's some from South Korea, South Korea there's some from uh, Thailand, there's some from Vietnam, there's some from China, there's some from Japan. Um... So Lay's chips are popular throughout Southeast Asia. Uh, so I have a, uh, one from China and I have uh, two from Thailand. All of them are interesting flavors and I just wanna get these chips samples out of the way because these are really fun. Um, very unconventional, uh, you know, chip flavors. I mean, unless you're from, uh, you know, Thailand or China, then I'm sure they're pretty commonplace there. But uh, you're certainly not gonna see any of these three flavors at a uh, on a shelf at a commercial grocery store. Like a, you're not gonna find them at a Walmart. You're not gonna see them in a Fred Meyer or a Kroger or a, a Meyer or whatever. Uh, okay, so let's take a look. I wanted to start with this one. This is the most uh, sort of like the most conventional one. The other two flavors are a little bit more uh, off the beaten path. This one is um, Lay's Maxed. Max Ridged Potato Chips Ghost Pepper Extract Chili Flavor. Okay, so everything, almost everything on this is on in the Thai language, and then they have this little label pasted onto it that has like for English people who don't speak the language. So yeah, these now when I see the word Max and um, I see them advertised as being ghost pepper chips, I'm thinking, okay, are these gonna are, are these gonna be spicy on the same level as the uh, Paki ghost pepper chips? Because to this day, those are probably the spiciest chips that I've ever tried. Um, now, I, have, uh, I haven't had, I've never done the one chip challenge, so I'm assuming those are more brutal. But uh, when we're talking about, you know, the stuff that's just available in, like, grocery stores and convenience stores and, uh, you know, specialty grocers, like where I found this, this could be a contender for hottest chip. So let's give it a try. Oh, that opened easily. It doesn't smell ghost peppery. It smells like chili powder. Hmm. Let's see what's in this. Potatoes, 57%. Oh, I like it when they say the percentage of the ingredients that are in it. Palm oil, 32%. Seasoning, 7.5%. Fried chili, 3.5%. Artificial flavor, no preservatives. So, it does have dried chili pepper in it, but it doesn't specify that it's actually ghost pepper, and it also said it has artificial flavorings. So it's possible that this doesn't actually have ghost pepper powder in it. I feel like if it did have it, it would say it. Now, my first bite was quite good. A little bit spicy, but I'm going to eat just a couple more and see if the spice builds up a bit more. Because this is definitely not challenging Paki for uh, hottest ghost pepper chip. Not so far. We gotta find the really heavily seasoned pieces too. Looks like we got some hiding down there. Mmm. It does have that distinctive Thai flavor. It didn't specify in the ingredients that that was in there, but I feel like you know what um, what a lot of Thai cuisine uses to uh, salt their food is actually fish sauce, and I can taste it in there for some reason. It doesn't say that it's in there. The flavor is nice, it's got tsumaminess from what might be soy, uh, some kind of fish extract or something like that. I didn't see it in there, I'm definitely tasting it there. There's like a seaweed fish ass extract umaminess to it. Now then on the other hand, there is respectable heat, there's a nice chili flavor in there as well. Um. For a chip, that's pretty dang hot. No, no, it's not a, a three. I don't remember what the heat level I gave on the uh, Paki Haunted Ghost Pepper Chips. I think I gave them like a three at least. It's not a three, but it is between a two and a three. 
which is respectively hot for a chip. So it advertises itself as being max spicy, and it more or less delivers. That's pretty dang spicy. Okay, I'm kind of impressed, and they're good. I would give I would give the flavor of those chips like a solid seven. Very enjoyable. All right, here's the next one. These are the the ones from China. This is roasted garlic oyster flavored Lay's. Ooh, you got some stuffed oysters there. I don't know what they're stuffed with. This has potatoes, soybean oil, roasted garlic, oyster flavor seasoning. Um. Uh, yeah, and it has, okay, so there's like, you know, I'm not going to read all that. That's too much. Whey powder, garlic, paprika, yeast extract, spices, disodium gluniate, disodium insonate. All right, and then it says contains wheat, soy, milk, and fish, anchovy, crab. Okay. So this should have a, an authentic seafood uh, flavor. It has anchovy, crab, and... Nope, these ones are giving me a problem. Hang on. All right. Yeah, one of the things that I don't want people to have to watch is me fumbling to open chip bag. All right, here we go. Ooh. Smells like the sea. Not necessarily the, the good side of the, the odor of the sea, either. These could be very fishy. Hmm. Yep. Tastes like oysters, tastes like canned fish, it tastes like crab. So I'm going to compliment the fact that the flavor of these chips is incredibly authentic. I can taste all those, um, those three uh, seafood components there. They figure prominently in the flavor here. So you want to buy this bag? You find this bag and you're curious about it? Better be ready for some fishiness. Those are some fishy chips right there. They're not bad. I could see somebody getting addicted to them, but you really have to like those seafood flavors. If you're not a seafood person, especially if you're not um, an oyster or a crab person, I would not. But they're authentic. So, personally, because this isn't necessarily like these aren't necessarily things that I love so much. I do like seafood, but oysters and crab are not near the top of my list, nor are anchovies. But, so I'm going to give it a six, just because it's so, it's, it isn't unpleasant to eat, and because the flavor is balanced, it's uh, so authentic. Somebody who loves those things would, could easily give these a nine or a ten. All right, and here's the last one. <clears throat> Nori seaweed. These are also a Thai product. Okay. So, yeah, I like, um, there's the kind of like pickly uh, seaweed, the, the, the pickly seaweed salad that's uh, served alongside sushi sometimes. I think that's the flavor that they're going for here. So, let's see. It doesn't smell pickly. I can say is clearly again you can see on the chip there's actual seaweed in the uh, the powder blend a seasoning blend or whatever you want to call it so it's authentic tastes like seaweed but of the three chips that I just sampled it is the mildest and least flavorful and that's kind of a nice way of saying it's bland it's this these aren't particularly flavorful A good analogy is like, you know, they have those um, hint of lime tortilla chips. These are like the potato chip equivalent, but it's like hint of seaweed. So you just got a little hint of the sea in there, a little hint of sea plant, in addition to your Lay's original chip flavor. It is pleasant. There's nothing wrong with the, it's, they're, they're fresh and crunchy. Um... It's a pleasant flavor, but it's just not very exciting. So I'm going to give that a six as well. But 
you know, I think maybe they could, could handle a little bit more salt or something. Maybe they should have put a little bit of citric acid in there to kind of get the pickly flavor. Because that's what I was thinking it was going to be. But that tastes more like those, what are those uh, dried seaweed flakes? Like they come in the squares. It kind of tastes more like that than it does a seaweed salad. So not bad, but not very exciting and not great. All right. Well, there's three more products out of the way. Got more coming soon.